This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. There are times in your project plan that you need to account for recurring tasks, such as a regular weekly status update meeting, or every week there's a certain committee meeting that you have to attend. And the reason that you want to include this in your project is so that it properly counts for time used for the resources on the project. Because if we're gone for four hours one day at a team meeting, that's certainly not time where we can be working on our project line items. So let's go into our project and let's take a look at how you can create a recurring task. You know, where you place it sometimes makes a difference on what you want the project to look like because it will renumber your line items. So what I want to do is just below the summary line here for web video shoot, I'm simply going to right click and insert task. Now, if you insert a task this way, you're inserting one task, one item, right? So let's do this instead. Undo. We're going to choose line two, choosing line two because you'll notice that tasks insert above. We don't want to enter just a one line item. We want to go to the task ribbon and on the task ribbon, insert is the group and there's task and we want to insert a recurring task. This is how you want to do recurring tasks. So you say, okay, and then it says, okay, what's your task name? So we're going to call this team, we'll call it the team planning meeting. Whoops, meter. <laughs> there we go. The team planning meeting. Now, I'm not going to worry about the duration quite yet. I'm going to come back and talk about the duration in just a moment. I want to talk about the recurrence pattern. So in the recurrence pattern, I want this meeting to happen on a weekly basis, and I want it to happen every Monday. Weekly basis every Monday. Look, though, when you change daily, monthly, yearly, you get choices in here that affect directly the the pattern that you need for the, the duration of this project item. So no, not daily. So I have weekly occur every one week on a Monday. When do I want it to start? You tell it when you want it to start and you can either get, give it an end by date. And by the way, this end by date that's here by default, look, it's the project ending date, January 21st, 2015. And I have January 21st, 2015. Just so you know, if you change this here, if you manually give this a different date and then you go back in and you change something about your project, this manual date will stay there. So be aware of that. Or you could say end after X number of occurrences. Well, I'm okay with it ending by the end date of my project. So I'm, I'm good with that. Now on the calendar, calendar for scheduling this task, you'll want to choose the same calendar that you're using for your project. So I'm going to choose the standard calendar. And then if you say scheduling ignores resource calendars, now this is beyond the scope of where we are right now in this course, but the scheduling ignores resource calendars, you actually can assign resources for each line item and each resource can has, have his or her own calendars. So if I'm on this project and I'm on vacation, you schedule me on my calendar to be on vacation, the project knows that I cannot be working during that vacation time. If you say schedule ignores resource calendars, it totally ignores what's going on with anybody's calendar. So on a project line item like this, I don't need to know if people are at work or not because everybody, if they're there, they're going to be at this meeting. If they're not, they just don't come to the meeting. But if you need it to ignore, check it. If you don't want it to ignore, deselect it. Now that's for calendar that you'll use for scheduling the task. So I totally recommend that you do turn on your calendar. Okay, now let's talk about the um, oh, excuse me, it's the start date that I wanted to go to. Apologize there. I wanted to talk about the start date for just a moment. If you just put in the date, it's just going to assume that it's going to be at this particular date in time and all day long. Except I don't want it to be at this particular date in time all day long. I simply want this project line item to start at 10 a.m. So I want my recurring task to start on Friday well, it won't start until the next Monday, right? But here it says Friday the 2nd at 10 a.m. Well, how long is this project going to last? This line item, it's not going to last all the rest of the day. This is simply a two-hour meeting. 
And so here, instead of in duration one day, I want two, oops, just two H, sorry, two hours. So this project line item will last for two hours every Monday, starting the Monday after this date at 10 a.m. And it will end at the end of my project. It's going to utilize the standard calendar, but it will ignore, at the point where I assign resources to the project, it will ignore anyone's time off on any of their personal calendars. And when we say OK, and it says, all right, now let me look at the task, the informational line here. Information, you see the little, um, the arrows? That just tells me that it's a recurring task. It automatically put in three additional lines into my project because these are the dates of the actual meeting. So it's indicating for me that I'm going to have this team planning meeting and it gives me the dates, the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th. And look how it puts it into my project. It puts it into the project here, just little tiny bars because it's just two hours each day. It's not an entire day. If you put it in as one day, it would actually fill up, just like these bars do down here, it would fill up the entire day. It would allow it to show totally. And I have a summary line that collapses and expands. Okay, just again, one more item. It's a little out of the scope of this particular class, but when you do start adding resources to your line items, if you need a resource, you always put it on the summary line, not on the individual lines. So you would put the resource on the summary line. I have these nice little informational pieces over here. It, it tells me that I have some constraints set on, and each one of those will say the same thing, and it indicates for me that it has um, the calendar, the standard calendar is assigned to it. So that's really nice. Let me collapse that and collapse the team meeting out of the way. All right, so now you know how you can add tasks that are going to reoccur within your project. The thing that you want to remember is it'll also renumber your line items. And so a lot of times what I do is I change the font on this and make it not quite so big and bold and bright because it's not one of the most important parts of my project, but it's definitely an important part to have accountable time for things like meetings. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.